this message is for all the fat folks, all my fat friends on here. If you're not fat, you can just scroll up. Okay, now that it's just us, how you doing? <sighs> I know. It's a lot right now. Breathing is a lot right now. Gravity is a lot right now. Why is your respiratory function so so incredibly depleted? It sounds like you just ran like a quarter mile and now you're on the brink of collapse because it was too much for you. All you're doing is sitting down. I don't know what you were doing before this, like maybe stirring chocolate milk or something, but why are you so out of breath right now? And why is your hair super Saiyajin Rose Goku Black? Why is it so neon? Why are you guys are why are you guys so adamant? about making yourself so visible while you are already the most visible people on the entire planet. But I'm interested. I'm very interested. Go off, Queen. But I want to remind you that this is what we have been preparing for in caring for our bodies, in building community. What are you talking about, caring for your bodies? Or what are you what are you referring to right now when you say caring? Like maybe like cutting your fingernails on time, maybe? Brushing your teeth? Most definitely not caring for the overall idea of your body. If you're obese, you're most definitely not taking care of yourself. But I mean, maybe you don't look at it like that. Like maybe you're looking at it as like another aspect of life. Uh, washing your hair on time, caring for my body, you know? Uh, I don't know, washing my toes every once in a while. So that way my, my my boyfriend and slash girlfriend can come over and suck my toes on time. I don't know, but most definitely, if you're fat and you're obese, you're not taking care of your body. What are you what are you what are you referring to? What are you talking about? Preparing for, in caring for our bodies, in building community, creating collective care. It's all needed right now. What are you talking about? So I want you to find some joy because that is an act of resistance. Uh, you guys already have too much joy. You guys have been eating your joy. You guys have been literally satisfying your lips for far too long. And you're sitting here talking about some find more joy. How much more joy do you need in your mouth? You've been literally joying up your mouth for too many months. And you're sitting here munching down, talk about some fine joy because it's an act of resistance. How is that an act of resistance? You think anybody really cares that you're fat? Nobody really cares, okay? Uh, all we really care about is for people that are unhealthy to become healthy. And if you're fat, that's fine. You can totally be fat. Nobody has an issue with you being fat generally. But if you're sitting here making this video talk about some find resistance, resistance in what? Your body is resisting against like gravity itself. What are you talking about, dude? Society stairs? Are you talking about stairs are resistant? What are you talking about? What is the community that you build? It's like four people. You guys count as like 10. So no, you guys don't have community. And if you do, it's really, really sad. Um, where's your jaw? Anyway. So I want you to find some joy because that is an act of resistance. Would you say that's like a crackhead, like a crackhead wanting joy if he did more crack? Would you consider that to be also, would you also consider that to be joy? But go, go, go ahead, go ahead. The fact that you are not controllable and you are not brain dead because- Well, you are controllable. You're just controlled by the other side. You're not con- I feel like a lot of these people that sit there and say they're not sheeps are probably, they probably don't realize this, but they are sheeps. You're just a sheep to the other side. You're a sheep to the people that believe that being fat is not a problem and, you know, obesity is not a big deal and you can live long, happy, fulfilling lives while being perfectly gy ginormously enlarged. You can't. You're a sheep. You're not, you are brain dead. You're just brain dead on the other side. Um, you're just incredibly biased to where you can't even see it anymore because the fat folds have like creased over your eyes and you can no longer see anything peripherally. Like you guys are so narrow, narrow visioned at this point. You can't even see this shit is actually harmful to yourself. Um, it is pretty crazy too, by the way, to have whales on your uh, collarbones. Not really sure what that is, but it's pretty crazy to have that. Uh, you know, I'm sure people can make a whole bunch of jokes. I'm not going to. But um, what are you? What are you even talking about? Like an act of resistance is to eat more food, to be fatter. What are you resisting exactly? Like, is you, what? What exactly are you talking about when you say we need to practice resistance and community, and we need to have more people that are in this community? What are you talking about? What does this have to do with anything when it comes to you being fat? Act of resistance. The fact that you are not controllable and you are not brain dead because you are dieting your life away. That dieting your life away because you're brain dead is so crazy, bro. Can you imagine somebody saying that? Can you imagine somebody saying getting off crack is brain dead? <laughs> getting off of your addiction, stop abusing alcohol is brain dead, dude. <laughs> I can't even believe, that's literally the equivalent. Dieting is brain dead. Uh, no, not, not, obviously not eating uh, so many calories to where your body is literally three or four times more than it, what it should be. No, 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 not that, not that, guys. No, dieting, 
eating less, the eating what you're supposed to eat and doing that on a consistent basis to where you're losing weight and becoming healthier. That's what's brain dead. I, you know what? This whole time, here I was thinking that me eating what I'm supposed to eat, me going to the gym, me taking long walks, sucking water straight out of a bottle, and here I thought I was being good. Nah, that's brain dead. That's smooth brain. That's the forbidden art. That's not even real. What are you guys doing? Losing weight? <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? Do drugs. Drugs. No, don't do drugs. But you know what I'm saying. This is the same shit here. What are you talking about? Is brain dead to, to, to put yourself in a calorie deficit so that way you can lose weight? What are you talking about? Who are you? Who are you? Why would you even say some dumb shit like that? That's, that's ridiculous. Controllable and you are not brain dead because you are dieting your life away. That is an act of resistance. You're, you're dumb, bro. You're fucking stupid, bro. You're, you're so dumb, bro. I can't even believe you just said that. That's some actual... That is some stupidity personified right there, dude. You got the Sailor Moon. You got the Sailor Moon little star hanging from your neck, dude. I wonder if that's an actual star. And I know it feels hard. Well, sometimes. Stop, stop. But I want you to go outside. Can't, can't get out of my bed. You're talking about some go outside. I can't even leave my bed. I can't fit through my doorway. The stairs leading downstairs are kind of narrow. Um, so when you say go out, when you go, when you say go outside, how do I get back in? Like, uh, I can go down the stairs, no problem. But when I, when I hit the bottom step, I look back up and I go, uh, I guess that's it. I guess I'm on the floor for the rest of my life. Unless there's going to be a crane crew that's going to come and assist me. I'm going to need probably a couple, couple, you know, three or four different crane crews to come through and lift me back up in my bed. They're probably going to have to remove the side panel of my wall to try to push me back into my, like, what do you, what do you, what are you talking about? Like, you, you don't think that's unrealistic? You know, most people live in apartments, right? You know, most people are, when they go outside, they have to, you know, move themselves to that outside place. Um, what do you mean? Like, I was just like, I was just thinking about that for a little bit. And I kind of thought that was unrealistic when you said that, like you're advocating for fat people, right? What you mean go outside? That's forbidden. That's never going to happen. All right, stop it. And I know it feels hard. But I want you to go outside and smell the fresh air. Obviously, don't tell me what to do. Maybe put your feet in some grass. That's never going to happen. That's crazy as fuck, bro. What are you talking about? Is that the only form of, of lettuce? Is that the only form of vegetables that you can ever, like, indulge on? Is like, you can't put it in your mouth, but you can put it on your feet? Maybe eat a delicious snack. What? That's already happening. Let's be honest here for a second. Eating is already in the question, but go off. And remember, you know, we get through this together. What do you mean together? By taking care of each other. Yeah, we go together. Tell them hoes we go together. And by choosing collective care. What do you mean collective care? Like, what does that even mean, dude? Like, what is that? What does that mean, collective care? Like, what are you talking about? Like, are you are you calling? Are you counting yourself as the collective? Are you the individual that's a collective? Do you, you know when like trans, you know like when you're trans, right? You know when people say they, they, they are they, them. Are you a they, them, but you referring to it in a different way or like how exactly does that work? Like, can you imagine somebody going like, yeah, um, I'm a they, them. But like, oh, I'm sorry. I called you a woman. No, no, I am a woman. Huh? Well, hold But you said you was a they, them. Yeah, yeah, I am a they, them. Huh? What you talking about? Big, big, big. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I identify as a waterbed, technically. But I just want to remind you, you're incredible. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop it, dude. Take me out first, bro. Come on. Take me out. Tell me how good I look. Buy me MK purses. Michael Kors is the way to my heart. We got this. Are we okay using the word fat? Because we've spoken about this. What else this are you going to say? Well, this is a big BBW plus size. Yes. I love this video. You should go watch the rest of it. That yeah, video like 10 years old, bro. What do you mean? It's your favorite video. Eh, I guess it's okay. There's a, there's a whole bunch of videos that I like referring back to. Like that one guy that was uh, on his bed that moved his legs in the helicopter formation. And like the song in the background was, I want a big dick, big dick, big dick, big dick. It's one of my favorite videos on the internet. Or that guy that had left uh he he was dead he died but in his will he had left his son like his daughter i don't know what he like bonds or something he had left his daughter bonds but for his son he had left his uh collection of dildos a collection of dildos and he had even pulled out one that was like a diamond encrusted dildo i don't even know where you even get it can you imagine being so incredibly uh, uh this is like this is your thing you collect it some people collect stamps some people collect syrup some people collect star wars stuff he collected dildos. I'm not. I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily know if he was using it, but I mean, I hope so, right? I mean, you're not gonna collect these things and not use it. 
But can you imagine collecting something to such a degree that you have a diamond encrusted? Oh. Uh, she's like portly. Or that video of that Haitian guy walking down the street with his pants really high up. I like that video too. Good lord, yeah. Um, the euphemisms are so gross. <laughs> Well, I think the euthanisms are actually not even that bad, if I'm being honest with you. Fat and obese are probably the worst ones, and then everything else behind that one is probably they're they're probably tame. They're pretty pretty tame. Plus size, BBW. I guess big backed, but big backed is actually not even that bad. It actually flows off the tongue really really well. Big backed. It just kind of sounds like it should be said. Um, fat though, obese. Uh, I don't know. Like you guys have a whole bunch of euthanisms that are actually not even that bad, in my opinion. I'm not telling you that you have to call people fat or that you have to call yourself fat. Thanks. But let's just acknowledge that language has power and that if we are taking back the word fat, if we are choosing to use it for ourselves, if we are saying that actually it is insulting to be using euphemisms because it suggests that you are so scared to call someone fat because yeah. it's the worst thing you could possibly be, then just believe us. Yeah, true. Take it back. Take it back. You're fat. <laughs> You're fat. You're fat. You're fat. Damn. Damn, you're fat. Whoa. Damn. Damn, you are fat. What? God damn. God damn. You are fat. Oh my God. What is that? Are you fat? Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. People in my comments still don't believe me. What do you mean you don't believe me? Can you imagine somebody saying, yeah, I'm fat. I'm like, I don't know about that. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't really know if that's true or not. You know, could, could we could we authenticate that? I mean, I do, do we have you like a certificate? Uh, well, well, how do we know that you technically are fat or whatever? I used to do that sometimes when girls would be like, yeah, you know, um, you know, I think I look pretty good. I'm going to prove it. Prove it. Sometimes girls would do that too. You know, you'd be sitting there like, I got a big meat. You know, my shit is kind of big. I got rug burn on my shit right now. Um, it is big. I got holes in my ceiling from when I woke up with morning wood. It's kind of crazy. And then they always go, prove it. Let me see that shit real quick. Sorry. Sorry. My phone doesn't have enough space to take a panorama right now. Sorry. Sorry. Let me go hit up the Hubble telescope so they can see it in a far off galaxy. Anyway. I believe that it is better to just call me fat. I'm happy for you to call me fat. Call me fat. Do it. Do it. It's got no power. You're fat. <laughs> You're big. You're ginormous. You're so, you're so fat in all the wrong places, too. It's good, I heard, to have the big voluptuousness down low. You know, the front butt, too. But you, I mean, you know, yeah, you're fat. Yeah, you you, you say you reclaimed a word, right? <laughs> you're fat. Damn, you kind of fat. Not an insult. And it's so great to not feel the fear of being called fat. Can you imagine feeling fear if somebody called you fat? Hey, bro, you're fat. <gasps> What are, you, what are you talking about? The fear? What are you talking about? Because you no longer view it as an insult. You view it as a neutral word. <clears throat> that is not to say that if you say it as an insult, that people won't take it as an insult. Because obviously they will, because you intended it to be an insult. Intention is important. His That's true. How words, how you how you say words, it's, it's, it's all about the intention of, of the words. So, uh, I promise I didn't have any ill intention when I was saying whatever I was saying right a few minutes ago. I'm not sure exactly what I was saying. I was just kind of lost in the sauce for a minute. That's why having a fat positive wedding photographer is important. So if you were fat and you were getting married, this probably matters more than you think it does. Hi, I'm Hannah. I am a wedding photographer. You just trying to like get jobs? Is this what that is? Like you just made this video just to get jobs? Like, oh yeah, you need a fat positive and a fat person to take wedding photos of you. Anyway, I take wedding photos and I am fat, you know, I don't know. Um, you, you looking for somebody? You, you, you know anybody that's going, you know, getting married or something like that? I'm fat, by the way, and I take pictures of things that are weddings and stuff like that. Is this just your way of like getting jobs? <laughs> this is like, this is the, this is the, this is the technique throughout the I've resume. 13 years, I'm also- I'm interested though. I'm guessing that she's gonna say something like, you know, they're not gonna know the angles correctly to get the fupa down pack. Um, when you when they bend over, you're not gonna be able to see the proper shape of the chin or chins. So you're gonna have to get me. I know all about lighting and getting the proper, uh, you know, 13 inches of that belly button down pack. I got it. A fat person getting married next year. So I'm right there with you. So let's talk about this. When you're choosing your wedding photographer, chances are you're looking at, do you like their photos? Obviously, do you like- See, like, this is the great thing about being a dude. I feel like I would never look at any of this stuff. Um, if I was getting married and I was obviously it would be with a woman, uh, naturally I wouldn't get married to a man because technically I'm not gay. I'm not, it's not technical actually, but, um, 
nothing there's nothing wrong by the way with being gay like if you want to be gay you can go be you, you can go ahead and be gay not me though i'm not gay <laughs> fuck that but if you want to be gay you can if you love the sensation of another man in your mouth that's up to you but for me i'm good i like women women anatomy that's good in my mouth i love that penis ugh, that's gross I, sometimes i even look at my own i'm like that's this is ridiculous this is what is this it's crazy huh you know there are guys out here literally struggling and here i am big needed i can't even believe it by the editing important and do you gel with them as a person also what do you talk i don't give a fuck if i gel with them as a person as long as they're what can you imagine literally going to a wedding photographer and be like hey bro tell me about your for you page on tiktok What's your favorite movie? I don't give a fuck about any of that shit, bro. Can you take good pictures? And can you do it with relatively cheap or, you know, with a good price tag? That's all I need. Uh, I don't give a fuck if you, you know, whatever the fuck, bro. You you could literally sit there at your house and with a, with a hammer and beat peanuts all day. I don't give a fuck, bro. As long as the pictures are good, bro, I don't care. So very important because that person is going to be hovering around you all day. Yeah, all day. All day. Not two, three, four, five days. Not a month. Not a year. A day. One day. I don't need that motherfucker to be there more than that. I don't need to know his backstory, read his Wikipedia page. What are you talking about, bro? What do you, why, why do I need to know his personality traits? Like, I gotta get his 23 and me to ensure that, <laughs> like, he's got the correct genetic code to two. Like, what are you talking Those about? Those things are important. But if you are fat and getting married, what you might not be thinking about is whether or not... The smell, yeah. No, that's true. That's true. The smell. These people are fat positive. Oh, oh. So, there are a couple of ways you could try to figure this out you could just ask them right like hey are you fat positive I, I think most people like if you ask the person like hey bro are you fat positive i feel like most people look at you like what the fuck are you talking about bro fat positive i'm positively you know i'm positive before that fat ass or I, maybe that but i feel like most people will kind of look at you sideways like fat positive what you talking about because it's just it's such a nuanced topic like i feel like these people just don't understand like nobody knows what that is like so when you say that shit it's just like people don't know well are fat positive so there are a couple of ways you could try to figure this out. You could see what kind of language they use about things. Like Didn't they may ask? actively mention like being fat positive or anti-diet culture. Yeah, nobody's doing that though. Nobody's talking about being anti-diet culture. That's such a weird talking point. Can you imagine like sitting over the, the catering table and be like, yeah, I'm just, just sick of this shit. Sick of stairs. Stairs, man. I'm just, I'm done. I'm not doing this shit no more. Whenever I see stairs, right on the stairs and I'm walking up them but I'm not gonna like it my kneecaps be shaking or whatever and that would be great because then you don't have to do the hard work <laughs> what is the hard work just ask them if they're fat positive I, I, why is this even a prerequisite to have a, a, a wedding photographer are you fat positive what I, what are you talking about what, what else do I need to know from this person man hey bro what's your KD on Fortnite? I, you know like what what else is there bro hey um if you could define yourself in 15 words what would it be like do I need to know their their entire backstory their favorite candy like what why do I need to know this shit bro are they posting pictures of fat people see if there's no fat people in their portfolio and then no fat people on their socials do we really think that they've managed to not photograph uh, fat people given that you're like not really telling me you're not really telling me anything like that would give me like why why are they good? Like why just because they know about fat positive stuff? Like what is that what is that even gonna prove to anything? Like I, I just need to know if they take good photos. That's all I need to know. Um them knowing about fat positive politics is neither here nor there when it comes to the execution of their skill. Am I wrong? Like forty percent of the population is fat. Or do we think that they just don't think that fat people are attractive? I think you're projecting OD here. What does this have to do with anything? Can you please go over the reason why I should hire a fat positive photographer for my wedding instead of telling me about why they may or may not dislike, they may or may not like fat people? Can you please go over that? I thought this was supposed to be about a skill thing, not 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 whether or not like I'm projecting my insecurities upon this random person. Or aspirational and so they don't want to share those pictures. I would definitely ask them. I would be like, hey, you got any galleries of fat people? I would. And they'd be like, what? Um, what do you mean galleries? Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about right now? Dude? That's kind of weird. You weird person asking that question. Talk about being fat in a call with them and see what kind of language they what use. What the fuck do you mean talk about being fat? <laughs> what? So you just like start up a call. Oh, Joseph, you know, I'm just really happy that you we could book you on short notice um, because I was just on the floor like 20 seconds ago and I fell down. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It was just me being fat. I was big. Uh, no, no, no. It wasn't because I was so fat. I fell on the floor. I dropped my Milky Way on the floor and I died for it. It was just too good to resist. I had to go for it. 
and my mouth was satisfied when it touched my lips. It just felt so good. I just love being fat so much. I just love having chub rub. I just love having chub rub on my neck. I just love it. And I also love just not knowing if that smell is me or another part of me. I just love that. Um, hey, what do you think about that? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you think about being fat? Um, you, you love it or do you love being fat? How much do you love it? Like, if you were to give me a scale uh, on a scale of one to how much do you weigh? How much would you say you love it? That's what I would need to know. Um, do you love being fat? Do you love fat? How many fat people do you know today? Like, you met today. How many fat people did you compliment today? Give me, like, a number. Give me a number on a scale of 1 to 10. How many fat people did you did you compliment today? I don't know if it's going to work, honestly. You're taking a little bit of time to answer this question. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? What, is it, what do you mean have a conversation about fatness? That's such a weird thing to even bring up. And how uncomfortable they are about it. Uh, the reality yeah, because most people are going to be uncomfortable. I hope you're bringing it up organically. And I was being like, so, you know, I'm big, right? Um, you like that or like, what do you think about that? What do you think? Like when you, when I bring that up to you, what do you think? Like when I say, I'm big and I got I got a lot. I'm big too. You know that I'm fat. Um, what do you think about that? You love that? You love that shit or what? Like, what do you think about it? Like, tell me what you're thinking right now. Like, what do you? What, what do you, I hope it's an organic conversation, dude. Like, you can't. You gotta weave it in somewhere. I hope it's a good proper segue and not just like you're just bringing it up. That's such a weird thing to bring up. Is that you will have to make slightly different posing decisions based on someone's body, and that is. There's not really gonna be many options. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard. Like, stand to the side. Okay, now stand to the front. No, I said stand to the front. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, you're doing well. Um, yeah, yeah. Just how it is. Like, that's true of when there's a height difference um, or what kind of outfits people are wearing. Like, it's true of so many things, and that's just one of the things. You just have to think about these Yeah, things. if you're getting, like, black guys that are... Like, I've been watching a lot of Love is Blind, and uh, for some reason, a lot of these black dudes would be coming up there with white suits and no socks <laughs> no socks uh definitely if i was a wedding photographer i'd be like yep uh let me just not take a picture of the shoes because for some reason you came in here wearing flats as a man that's crazy as fuck and then also you don't have socks on and also you got the waters you got the high waters on what are you doing why'd you cut you wearing sunglasses too what are you talking about dude what are you doing and another guy comes in he's wearing jays he's wearing jordans like bro what are you, you coming in with jordan sevens on with a suit and getting married do you not taking it serious at all this is your future wife you know, it's like, I don't know, man. I just don't get it, man. I just, what is up with people, man? Not all black people, obviously. But whenever I watch Love is Blind, it's always like, dude, why are you wearing this shit? A red velvet, a, a red velvet suede suit? Bro, <laughs> it's not about you, man. Why are you dressing up like this? Huh? It's for the woman. You know this. I know this. What are you talking about, man? Come on, get your shit together, bro. Things because it will change how you pose people. Same thing with women, too. I mean, like, listen, I can't, there's only so many times I can watch these shows and I think, your face is brown. Your body is white. That's not right. You know, nobody they did your makeup so bad. So bad. Your hair busted. Why do they fucking do your shit? They flat iron your shit? I mean, I don't, whatever, man. And it's not good or bad. It just is. And there are loads of ways that that's true. But if someone doesn't. No, it's bad. It's bad photograph fat people. And they may not know how to make those adjustments to the way that they work. You talk about like. You know, like I gotta, I gotta be like somebody that takes pictures of cars, is what you're saying. Like I gotta know how to take pictures of vehicles, so that way I can properly take a picture of you. Or like, what do you talk about? And here's the other sad thing mm -hmm. that I want to talk about. As someone in the wedding industry, I'm in a lot of groups of other wedding suppliers, and actually, I've left quite a few of them because of the rampant fat phobia. So what I want you to know, like is what? Like, can you give me an example? What does that mean? Like, what were they saying in the chat rooms? Is that actually? There is a lot of fat phobia going on in the wedding industry. That's so weird, bro. It's so weird when these people are in these very, very niche communities and they just say shit like this. Like, what are you talking about? What? That's like somebody going like, there's a lot of fat phobia as a librarian. What? What? Are you talking what? Really? Really? That's so interesting, man. Uh, or like so maybe a, a pharmacist. Like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of fat phobia in the pharmacy. You know, I, sometimes I go back to get somebody's medicine. And these aisles are too small. I can't fit. I have to get Frederick to come in and get the thing for me because like it's too narrow, I can't get in there. Like, what are you talking about, man? What, what is the fat phobia? There are suppliers that will deliberately not post you because they don't want people to associate them with fat people. There are also people that will be making fat phobic comments about you like behind what? your back. Like what, like what, give me an example. They'll be in groups online talking about how you should have gone on a diet. Cool. I've yeah. seen them, I've called them out. 
I've left. What do you mean you called them out? Like, what do you mean? Like, when somebody says, like, yeah, I think I might want to go on a diet for my wedding and you're going to call them out? I'm like, nah. What the fuck is wrong with you, fat phobic fuck? You going to say you want to go on a diet? You're good. You're, how much do you weigh? 350? 450? Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, no, you good. Uh, yeah. No, don't lose weight. We talk about it. Stop doing that. That's not good for your wedding to look the best you're ever going to look ever on this momentous occasion. Some might consider to be the best of your life. Nah, what are you talking about? Groups for that reason is pretty disgusting. There are people that won't have the level of compassion that I would hope anyone would have for you. Like you, huh? Like you? You you think you could have good compassion for my wedding photo? Like when you take a when you take that photo, are you gonna blow a kiss to the camera when you do it and say, fat people are the best? When you take that picture? If not, then I'm not gonna hire you. Body image when it's such a vulnerable thing being photographed. Um, especially when you're not used to it, right? Because most of us aren't being professionally photographed regularly. And a wedding is a vulnerable thing anyway. There's a real level of trust that someone has to give you in order to invite you to their wedding. I'm not saying- Well, this you're not inviting- well, Maybe you are. Are you inviting them? I don't know, man. I don't know anything about weddings, dude. Help me. You. I'm saying it is worth doing your due diligence. Now, there is no way that you are going to know because most people aren't going to be like, yes, I'm fat phobic if you ask them. But there are some signs and we can at least- put that into our list of things to consider when we're looking for wedding photographers. And if you want someone that you know is definitely fat positive, you can hire me. My oh yeah? Oh yeah? I can hire you, huh? I'm good. I'm all right. I think I might want to go for somebody that might not be fat positive, to be honest. I think I might want to go with somebody that thinks it's bad to be fat, maybe. You know, from this point on, no matter who I hire for my wedding photographer, I'm going to make sure I ask him, hey, bro, you like fat people? Oh, tell me what you think about fat people. Greasy? What you think? Yeah, I I'm hiring you, then. You don't like that? I'm hiring you. Hi. Good advertisement. You did a good job, the fat bride. My photography name is Hannah Mia Photography. You can find me. You can send me a message. Like, do whatever. I also am working on a fat positive wedding directory. Uh, wedding season um, distracted me from that, but it is in progress. Don't worry about it. So you should follow me along if you are fat and getting married, because that is basically what my content is about. Any questions about hiring a wedding photographer or how to... House Any questions on hiring me? I mean, whatever you guys want to do, you know, uh, however you want to hire me, you know, LinkedIn, you know, send me a DM on the Grammy, uh, whatever, you know, that's all I'm looking for. Don't make a decision about that or any comments or Good ideas, advertisement. Well, let me know. My first time hanging out in a room full of, I'm going to say, uh, slightly larger people was a Weight Watchers meeting. Right? Yeah, 100%. Really? That's interesting, bro. Uh, just go to school, right? I mean, there were a lot of kids when I was growing up that had a little really big as fuck. I knew a kid named Jose that was literally so fat, they made him dress up for Santa Claus during the uh, the Christmas the Christmas celebration we had, which is crazy um, because he was, I think he was Puerto Rican or whatever. So, you know, you would go up to him. And he, by the way, he was a child just like us. So, like, if I was, say, for instance, seven, eight, nine, he would be, like, maybe a year older than me at most. And you go up there, you sit on his lap. You go, hey, what's going on? What you want for your birthday? No, let me stop. No, he didn't say like that. Yeah. So it wasn't until my very first Charlotte Plus event that I was like, oh my God, you can get together with other fat people and not talk about salads and steps. I guess if that's what you want to do. I mean, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that most fat, um, do you think fat people don't have like unique thoughts and stuff like that? Like. These people, like, sometimes they'll say shit, and I'm just thinking, like, you guys are kind of fucked up to your own people, bro. Like, can you imagine literally only talking to fat people and thinking that's surprising when they don't want to talk about weight? All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in light, L-I-G-H-T, or I guess, is there another way of spelling light? L-I-T-E, light. But regardless of how you want to spell light, there's something in my hoodie. It's like itching against my arm right here. I don't know what it is, but it's like bothering me. I hate it so bad. It's like right here. And I can't get it. I don't know. I don't even know if it's there or not now. I feel like I'm. it's like gaslighting me to thinking something. But anyway, light. Because you're the light of my life. You're a beautiful specimen of human being, and I care about you immensely. I love the way your uh, your kneecaps are formed. They look really, really good. Not like mine. Mine are disgusting and awful and terrible. They just kind of protrude out. They call them doorknob knees because they're so 
disgusting. Like when I look down, obviously I'm seeing big meat, but I'm also seeing kneecap. I'm seeing a lot of kneecap, a lot of kneecap. And I don't like that. I don't like that my kneecaps are show, showing so much, but your kneecaps, chef's kiss, beautiful. Mm, my God, they're looking good. Tasty, lubricated, and domesticous. Anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.